Hi caregivers, welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I'm Carol Howell, your host, and I'm glad that you're here today. We're going to talk about living to be 100. Do you want to do that? Well, would you like to do it healthy? That's the question, and there would be the difference for most of us, right? Well, that's going to be the subject of today. But first, I would like to thank our sponsors, Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She does such a fantastic job making sure that everything I write, and she can do this for you, that everything you write is correct, that you don't have a bunch of grammatical mistakes in it. You know, some of us just aren't so good at those commas and exclamation points. I'm very good at exclamation points. I use lots and lots of them. <laughs> and the rules have changed since you were in school. So, you know, she tells me just to get over it. National Association of Veterans and Families, 800-352-2919. Contact them to get help with uh, benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Don't assume they don't qualify. You could be very wrong. And when you call them, tell them Carol sent you. I think I've got a little hair in my eye there. Um, it's been a busy day for me. I hope you've had a good day. I hope your caregiving experience has been meaningful and there's been something happened that you wrote down and thought, this is something I want to remember. I have over here, let's see if I can just get it out. This is um, a list that says things Mama said during her last 24 days. And I have, let's see, 17 meaningful things. Some of them were funny. Some of them were just really funny, and some of them I can't tell you because they had dirty words in them. But that was my mama. But this list is important to me. It's things mama said. So make notes of what goes on in your in your caregiving journey that you know, things you might want to remember. Well, today we're going to talk about living to be 100. And I asked you at the beginning of this show, do you want to live to be 100? And I know my mom always said she did not. And um, even before she got dementia, she said, I don't want to live that long. Well, I don't want to live that long if I'm broke. This is for sure. If I've outlived my money, I don't want to do that. And I don't want to live that long in a debilitated state of being. And that's one of the reasons that I got involved with the Blue Zones solution. And, oops, I forgot to pull this over here. Let's Talk Dementia is now a participating organization with Blue Zones Project. We had our ribbon cutting last week. That was fun. i got to tell you, they showed up, all of the Blue Zones people who attended this ribbon cutting, um showed up with this big guitar case and I went are we gonna have music that's just cool and he said no 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 it holds the scissors I went you're kidding he goes no just wait you see they had scissors that were three or four feet long and they were blue and sharp I mean I thought these were fake scissors oh no you could do some serious damage with these huge scissors but we had the ribbon cutting as we are let's talk to Minch is now a participating organization because you see as I've told you over and over again what you put in your body is going to have a direct effect on your gut your heart and your brain that's just so important so we got to think about that so when I started learning about the Blue Zones um, and their uh, method for increasing longevity and to do it in a way that you're going to enjoy living that long, when this goes right along with what I have been teaching and I have been learning also about preventing Alzheimer's and also just having a better quality of life. Preventing heart disease, preventing high blood pressure, preventing diabetes, oh, inflammation, preventing all that bad stuff that we don't want. And um, I was like, this is something I'm interested in. My cat's doing something down there. I don't know. <laughs> you have to ignore that. But what is Blue Zones? Well, uh, Mr. Dan Butner wrote this book, and he, there's a bunch of them he's written, and there's a new one coming out. But um, I wanted to talk with you specifically about the principles of the Blue Zone Project and how it's really not that difficult to make some changes in your life. So there were studies done that there are six places in the world where people live to be over a hundred and they have a very low incidence of heart disease and dementia. Really, this is something we need to study. One of those places is in the United States, just one, and it's in Loma Linda, California. And I believe it's the Seventh, Seventh Day Adventist group of folks. And um, it's and so they study them, and they find out what do you eat, what sets you apart, and what you eat. Well, let's just go straight to that. What do they eat part? Because um, I found this to be very interesting, and I can tell you that you're going to find a similarity between the different zones. So one of them is I carry a grease. Now this is what they eat. Olive oil. No big surprise. Something like 50% of their fat in a day comes from olive oil. 
Now, not cheap olive oil, good olive oil. Wild greens, duh. Potatoes, now I was a little surprised at potatoes. Feta cheese, that made me very happy, but it needs to be goat's milk feta cheese, which is not always easy to find. I shop at Aldi, and there's Aldis all over the world. They actually carry it. That was pretty happy. Black-eyed peas, don't like them, but okay, I'll eat them. Chickpeas, mm-hmm. Lemons, you'll find in many of their recipes, they're going to squirt fresh lemon juice on top of it. And if you've watched MasterChef, you know, it just brings out the flavor. They'll go, it needs a little acid. You should have put lemon juice. So try that. Mediterranean herbs. They drink herbal tea from the local herbs. And they believe it helps protect against certain cancers. Coffee. Don't drink coffee because I don't do caffeine. But coffee, and it's their type of coffee. It's very, very strong. <clears throat> and they drink two to three cups a day of it. I'm sure I would not like that. And honey. Okay, I'm all over the honey. That sounds good. All right. In Okinawa, Japan, again, goat's milk cheese and sheep's milk cheese. Flatbread. Well, now, flatbread that you get in the store here is not the same thing. They make this bread. It's a high-protein, low-gluten bread. And um, it was originally made, it says, with durum and wheat flour, salt, yeast, and water. It was invented for shepherds who pastured their sheep for a month at a time. Their sheeps. No, it's their sheep for months at a time because the bread would not go bad. So, flatbread. Barley, sourdough bread, that made me happy. Fennel, fennel has a licorice taste. That's something you either like or you don't. That's not going to be on my list. Fava beans and chickpeas, that's the second time we've heard chickpeas. Tomatoes, almonds, milk thistle. It says, Sardinians drink a tea of milk thistle, a native wild plant, um, to cleanse the liver. Hmm. Emerging research suggests that the milk thistle's main active ingredient is an antioxidant and has an anti-inflammatory benefit. There you go. And then a special kind of wine. Um, and I believe I was told this wine, it's, it, I don't know how to pronounce it. I just don't, but it's spelled C-A-N-N-O-N-A-U. Canonau? I don't know. But um, it can be purchased in the United States. You have to do a little bit of looking. But they know that the folks who drank this had fewer instances of heart disease and heart attacks. Dry red wines in general um, are recognized as being good for that. Now, that's something you have to have an acquired taste for. I cannot drink wine of any kind. I have yet to find a wine that doesn't give me a headache. So, there again, you've got to look at these things. What works for you and what doesn't. Now, in Loma Linda, California, so we're going to get here back in the good old United States, avocados. Well, we knew that. Avocados are high in fat, but it's the good for you fat. And oh man, are they good. You can put avocado on any sandwich or any salad. Um, some of that sourdough bread that you've toasted. And yeah, a little bit of chopped tomato. And some of that feta cheese, that goat's milk feta cheese. And then call me and I'll come help you eat it. Salmon. Got it laid out for my dinner tonight. Nuts. Raw nuts, now that's not the kind of nuts that have salt and grease and all that nasty stuff on it. You don't want to eat that. It's raw nuts. Um, raw cashews are very good for you. Said so a study during the 1990s found that the Adventists who ate a handful of nuts, that's not a lot of nuts, at least five times a week, lived two to three years longer than people who didn't eat any nuts. Well, that's just simple. Again, Aldi sells raw nuts. More research since then found links between nut eaters and lower rates of cholesterol, blood pressure, chronic inflammation, diabetes, and myriad other troubles that add up to cardiovascular disease. That's such an easy thing to do. Throw it in your cereal, put it on your oat, or in your oatmeal, or just eat it straight from your hand. It's very good. I did one time offer some raw cashews to a, a gentleman who was in my house and had been doing a lot of work, and I took him something to drink, and I said, would you like some cashews? I said, These are raw cashews. And he said, I've never had raw cashews. I said, oh, they're so good. Try them. And he ate like three. And he said, those taste like wallpaper paste. And I said, do you regularly eat wallpaper paste? Do you know what wallpaper paste tastes like? I don't want to know the answer to that. But it is an acquired taste, but I think they're quite good. And then beans, all kinds of beans. Now, if you are on um, a strict budget and you're watching your dollars and trying to keep your, gro keep your grocery bill down, you can go buy a dollar's worth of beans and eat on it for two, three, four meals, depending on how many folks you're feeding. Um, soak them overnight and then cook them in your Instant Pot. Everybody's got an Instant Pot nowadays. It's pretty easy. Um, I cook them in my Crock-Pot. I have an Instant Pot, but I cook my beans in my Crock-Pot. Lots of water. 
Water, 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 water. We hear it all the time. Well, you don't need to be drinking other things. Uh, now, if you can drink that coffee from Sardinia, I think it was, but you don't have that. So we're looking at water. Um, I take my water, a gallon of water, and I add, well, it's a little less than a gallon of water because I add to it, um, so it's three quarts. Now that I think about it, be three quarts of water and one quart of sparkling water that does not have flavoring in it. I mean, that does not have um, sweetener in it. It is not sweetened at all. I add that to the water. And then I use Sweet Drops, which is a very natural liquid stevia. Not the stuff you buy in the grocery store. That's not good for you. Mix it all up. I drink a gallon every day. And I pee a whole lot. But you didn't need to know that, did you? But alas, now you do. Oatmeal. Of course, you know, um, oatmeal is has high in iron and vitamin B. It's high in fiber. Okay, now what do I do with oatmeal? Every morning I eat three quarters of a cup of raw oatmeal with a handful of almonds or pecans and some blueberries because we know blueberries are a superfood and almond milk. Uh-huh, put a little bit of that liquid stevia in it. It's very, very good. And believe me when I tell you it's high in fiber, okay? Just believe me when I tell you that. Whole wheat bread and soy milk. So what we're realizing here is there's similarities in the diets of these people. It's natural stuff. It's things that don't, never had a mama or a daddy, never had a face. No, we don't eat those things. We're eating the things that grow. Things are on the outer aisle of your grocery store. So in um, Costa Rica, um, they eat a lot of tortillas, squash, papayas, yams, black beans. Oh, yeah, bananas. Yes, we like bananas. And peach palms. I'm not sure what peach palms are, but you were there you would know it so those things that we eat are very important to keep us healthy so they have this little flyer that I like it's called power nine I've got a new light ring which way do I put this so you can see this I do not know got to adjust my light ring I was told to buy this light ring so that my lights better in the on the screen so I'm hoping it's better for you but there are nine things that you need to do to improve your chances of living longer and decrease your chances of Alzheimer's specifically or lots of the other dementias because they come from heart disease or various things. You need to get out and move your hind end. Quit getting in the car and driving to your neighbor's house, five houses down, don't do that. Walk. Get out and walk. Intentional exercise. If you can start your day and in your day with a walk, you're going to have a happier mental state of being. It's very important. Plus, you're burning calories. Have a purpose when you wake up. Now, see, this is where we have problems with our folks with dementia. They no longer have a purpose. We want to give them purpose, help them know what their purpose is. And there, I told my mama, your one job in life is just to smile at me. Because when you smile at me, I'm the happiest girl on the planet. Um, downshift, reverse disease by finding a stress relieving strategy that works for you. And for me, it's going to the pool. And I put on Motown music and I walk to the beat of that music. And then when I'm done about 45 minutes of that, I put on Liquid Mind, M-I-N-D. And it's very soothing and relaxing. And I sit there with my hands out, raised to the Lord in thanksgiving and my body floating and look at the sky and oh, I just relax. I downshift. The 80% rule is where you stop eating when you're 80% full. Now, I, what, you know my phone would ring. I don't know how you're going to know when it's 80%, but don't eat till you're slap full. It just makes you feel sick. Eat plant slant diet. Now, that's recognizing that you're probably not going to give up meat like I have. I do eat fish. Um, but put more fruits and vegetables on your plate. Be intentional about that. Add wine to your diet if it's something that you can have and it works with your system. If you have problems with alcohol, do not do that. Just don't. Put family first. Invest time with family. They have shown that that can add up to six years to your life. Belong to a faith-based organization and attend regular worship. Here you go. Adds 14 years to your life. 14 years because you decide to go to church and so the right tribe have the right tribe don't associate with those negative debbie downers in your world just kick them to the curb and replace them with people who are supportive and upbeat and whose behaviors mimic what you believe is right or whose behaviors you want to mimic that you want to add to your world i'm sorry my phone rang during that um recording i normally turn it off but 
I was so busy with this little light ring going, I forgot to turn off my phone. So you just heard that my daughter was calling me, but I'll call her later. Well, hope that gives you some things to think about that will improve your body. And when we improve our body, then we improve our mind. When we improve our body and our mind, we most likely are going to add some longevity to our existence. And it's going to be a better existence. And that's what we want. Well, a special thank you to Beth Crosby, who is editor extraordinaire, www.editorbeth.com, and National Association of Veterans and Families, 800-352-2919. If you have not checked out our podcast, I would ask you to do that. We recently were named the number six podcast on dementia. Well, that's pretty special, isn't it? I was excited about that. Uh, Wait a minute, I'm going to tell you who... Um, announced that because I told them I would. It was announced by, hold on, do, 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 Feed Spot, F E E D S P O T. You can go to um, their website, Feed Spot, and see the top dementia podcast and we're there yay so you can find us on our website and on iTunes and Spotify and a lot of other wonderful places. Well, as always, this show is brought to the glory of our Lord who brings all good things to our life, who is the giver of most good and perfect gifts, and we're thankful for that. And in memory of my sweet mama, there's my mama cutting her wedding cake with Mr. Frederick. She looks like she's getting ready to tell him something real important. I'm not sure, but that was a happy day. Well, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope your caregiving experience is one that brings you joy, and I hope you cook something very healthy for dinner tonight. Blessings and smiles on your day. Bye-bye.